Nestled in the Yampa Valley in the town of Craig in northwest Colorado sits the Wyman Museum. It houses a fascinating collection of everything from Colorado license plates to a working blacksmith shop on the property. There's even a real live elk. And with more on the Wyman Museum and his collection, we have Lou Wyman, his son Louis Wyman, and his grandson Cooper Wyman. Welcome to the show. Hi, so I'm glad to I, be here. I have to mention they're friends of my um, Aunt Joanne and Uncle Albert. So I'm so glad they sent a message about you guys to have you on the show. Tell me, Lou, a little bit about your background, about the museum. I've collected old things for 65 years. The first thing I got was a car back in 1950. Uh, and I've saved so much that I have to have a place to put it. So. Uh, we started the museum about 12 years ago. Uh, it's amazing. It's beautiful. I mean, when you go inside, you're just awestruck with everything that's available. And you brought a few things here today. Um, you made the trip to Denver. Would you mind going over what you brought and maybe start with this cool mouse trap? Sure. This is a self-setting mouse trap. <coughs> the mouse goes in. Uh, the Bait's locked in the side of that little door, and as the mouse goes inside, there's a teeter-totter, and when he gets on the back of the teeter-totter inside, this comes down the lid. Yeah. The only way he can get out of there is to crawl up and push past the piece right there and through and into the hole. As he goes into the hole, it trips him down into a jar and resets it. Isn't that amazing? How old is that? 100 years. Wow. Okay, and then quickly, show me the piggy bank. This is super cool. We're going to have to get a close up on this. Sure. This is a bank that was made in about 1880, and mechanical banks were popular in 1880s. This bank is called William Tell. The coin's placed right there on him. There's a place for a cap if you wanted one for the noise, and you then push on his foot. And there it goes. How and fun is that? And his head comes back up. That's cool. <laughs> it was made in the 1800s. Yeah. Um, Lewis, would you mind telling me about the license plate? I think that's fantastic. Sure. This uh, plate was issued during the war. It's made out of soybean. Um, there was a shortage of metal going on in World War II, and so this plate is made out of soybean. It worked great. Uh, the only problem would be if you pulled into a barnyard, a goat or cow might eat your plate. Yeah, oh my gosh, that's hilarious. What was it like growing up with a dad who did all this collecting? <laughs> um, it was really neat. It was, yeah. uh, it was really cool. We had a, a very different experience, so it was, uh, yeah, it was neat. That, and you also have a blacksmith there, I understand. Yeah, we do. Yeah, tell me about the blacksmith. It's, uh, he works in a building that, was, uh, that came from up in Walden. People gave it to us up there. We brought it down, disassembled it and brought it down, reassembled it. Uh, and it's just like 1900. It has a line shaft uh, wow. for equipment, uh, and he makes lots of different things, dinner bells, uh, about anything you'd want. And, uh, Is it true that you also have an elk named Junior? <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> we, I raised elk for 30 years. Aww. And this is Junior. He uh, came along about eight years ago, and he seems real nice now and gentle. And he is until his horns get hard. Uh, they're growing right now. When his horns get hard, his testosterone level changes. Oh, that's a rut, right? That's yeah. when they're in rut. Right, and then he gets a little meaner. And you, you don't want to stick your hand <laughs> over into the fence because he'll wipe it right off. I cannot wait. I got to go check out the museum with my boys again. Take them all up there. Really quick, Cooper, is there any friends you want to say hi to that may be watching? Do you have any friends up there? Yeah, I mean, no. How about any girlfriends? Oh, come on. Okay, just get, say hi to everybody. <laughs> He's shy. Hi. This is his first time on TV. Well, thank you so much for giving us a sneak peek. I really appreciate it. You guys are fascinating. I can't wait to take my family up there. We're collectors <laughs> just like you. You'd be surprised what, sure. if you stop by my house. My husband, actually, we need to open a museum. He is one wrench away from being a hoarder. <laughs> I am not kidding. <laughs> All right, come visit some of Colorado's past by making the trip to the Wyman Museum. It's located at 94350 East Highway 40 in Craig, Colorado. Give them a call today, 970 
970-824-6346. Again, it's 970-824-6346 or find them on Facebook. Go to Wyman Museum or online at wymanmuseum.com and be sure to say hi to my Aunt Joanne. She works there too. We'll be right back. <laughs>